Hey guys, Survival here. Welcome to a new mini series here on Assessed Bushcraft and Survival. For this series, we will be inside the Assessed Bushcraft and Survival homestead. So, here we go for the very first ever episode of Homestead Cooking. In this episode, we're going to do a little take on some good long term luncheon meats, but we're going to spice it up a little bit, add some real good flavour to it and take an otherwise boring and rather tasteless luncheon meat and make it into a phenomenally tasty dish which will warm you and make you feel absolutely wonderful even on the coldest day. And the best part, whatever you don't eat, chuck it in the fridge, warm it up the next day, the flavours get even stronger. So, our ingredients are as follows. Sweet corn, red kidney beans, long life tinned luncheon meat, some croutons, here they're just soaking. They require soaking before use as they are a semi dehydrated product. Here we have a mix of curry powder, some pink Himalayan salt, some garlic granules, and some red pepper mix, spice mix, which is just a various assortment of chilies. Here we have chili garlic paste, with sriracha added to it. So, the first step. We get a decent sized pot, but you have to make sure it's rather deep. Keep the lid, but chuck it to the side for now. We've got to put some water in it and bring it to the boil. I've put the pot on a medium burner with the gas about two thirds of the way on. We don't want too intense a heat, we just want to get the warm fin gently because we want it to simmer and then ease into a boil. That way, when we add our processed luncheon meat, it will be just hot enough that it will start to poach it, but at the same time, let the salts come out without really, in my opinion, ruining the flavour. So while the water is warming, I'm going to just simply dice up the luncheon meat. So. I just turned the medium burner to its maximum gas setting as I'm about to add my processed luncheon meat, which I have diced, into it. Gently add it, supporting it so it doesn't splash. You do not want boiling water getting all over you. So, while we're poaching our processed luncheon meat, it's advisable to use a wooden spoon to just stir it because we want to gently heat it through. The water will become very cloudy as the salts and other residues that naturally occur in it will start to leave the processed luncheon meat as we poach it. I just rest the spoon across the top to save dirtying a saucer. If you want to test whether it's heated through properly as you can see, I've isolated one piece of the processed luncheon meat on the wooden spoon. Simply grab a clean fork and taste it. If it's heated through fully, then you're ready to proceed on to the next step. So, on tasting, it was heated through properly. Now we're ready for the next step. We start by turning the temperature down. We want to take the gas setting on the burner to the lowest setting possible whilst still keeping the burner lit. We then want to remove the processed luncheon meat and put it into a fresh bowl. And then we want to carefully tip out down the sink, running the cold water so as not to damage any plumbing, and then replace with new cold water, which we will then gently warm and then reintroduce the processed luncheon meat to. This way, we will have taken out excess salts and other residues. So I've tipped out the salty water, I've rinsed the pot out lightly just with some running cold water and I've put some, not too much, just enough, which is about a third of a way up the side of the pot, uh, fresh cold water in it and we're going to slowly warm that. So we're going to bring the burner to about 50% gas throughput and we're going to let that warm. Once it warms, 
we're going to reintroduce the processed luncheon meat and then we're going to add all our other ingredients one at a time. So our water's back at temperature. Going to reintroduce the processed luncheon meat gently once again. We do not want to make a big splash and get boiling water everywhere. Once again, rest the spoon across the top. Now we're going to add our sweet corn. And we'll give it a stir through. Otherwise, they just sink to the bottom. The last thing we want is corn getting burnt on. Now we'll add our kidney beans. These red kidney beans that I have here, I didn't drain any of the fluid from. And I find these small cans are actually the correct quantity for this dish. You can usually buy them in a bulk pack. They're very handy to keep in stock. You know, just chuck them in your pantry, chuck them in your pack when you go out bush. Absolutely wonderful. An essential item for your food store. Now, as you can see here, we have our spices mix. I'm just going to tip this in. And we're going to give it a good stir. We're going to let the curry powder will make the water go semi-brown. And we're going to let it activate and really help warm everything. And we don't want it too strong and overpowering, but we do want it there just to add some nice flavour. Carefully, I'm going to drain the water from the croutons. It shouldn't be much because they absorb the majority of it. And I'm going to add them in. These croutons will take a while to cook because you do need to cook them and get the heat through them well. Otherwise, they taste a little oily and rather lackluster. So give them a good mix. Keep stirring it all. Don't let anything stick to the bottom. And that just leaves us our sauces to add. I like to give the sauces a good stir just to mix them really well. And then just add them in, give it a good stir through to mix them. Now we'll just run that burner at half gas capacity. We'll give it just a little bit to warm up and cook everything. One last thing I'm going to add is chive paste. So what it is, is it's a lovely um, paste which is made from chives and it's just ready to be stirred in. Very tasty and a very great way to just round off the flavours with that beautiful touch of that slightly oniony chivey taste that we all love. So as you can see, it's simmering away very nicely, warming through. So I'm just gonna grab a spoon. And with this clean spoon that I've just grabbed, I'm gonna taste it. And check the strength. We want only the fluid, only the good liquid. Got some of the liquid. That's got some good zing to it. So now I'll just give it a bit more of a stir. You can adjust how watery it is by simply putting less than one third of a pot's depth of water in it. Once you've removed the initial water from the pot, which is usually very salty, you could increase the spice mix or the sauces that you add to it. You could let it reduce. It's really up to you. It's a very handy dish in that respect. But one of the things I really do love is that the processed luncheon meat becomes very tasty and starts to take on the flavours 
the bit you add to it. So I would say this is about ready. So turn this stove burner off. So I'll give it a moment or two to rest and then I'll dish it up. So as you can see, I've served out a portion of it. I chose not to have too much of a liquid as I did make it a little weak in terms of the consistency. I should have probably put a little less water in the saucepan. However, it's easily adjustable in future. I could have either let it go a little longer and reduce to get some more intense flavor or simply have just put a little less water in after I dumped the salty water. But as you can see, it's a very simple, easy and effective dish, very tasty, very quick to prepare and very warming and filling and it is very much a tasty comfort food for those cold, miserable winter days. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Homestead Cooking. Feel free to leave any comments below. And remember, stay safe in the bush.